The National Park Service is chipping in $1 million to help fund the restoration of a Frank Lloyd Wright house in West Lafayette, Indiana. Wright designed the house in the 1950s for a young Purdue professor and his wife. He named it Samara. Today, it's one of the most complete Frank Lloyd Wright projects in the nation. Samara is hidden in a residential neighborhood across the street from Purdue's Ross Aid Stadium. John and Catherine Christian were newlyweds and wanted a home designed to entertain faculty and students. On a trip to New York, they discovered the neighborhood designed by Wright called Usonia and decided they wanted him to design their house. So here's Wright busy doing all these great big designs. And we have this young couple, newly married, living where? In West Lafayette, Indiana, who ever heard of that, right? And they had what Dr. Christian used to say is limited resources. So in other words, they had no money and they want to hire this world famous architect. Well, what do you do? John Christian picked up the phone one day and called Wright's office directly. Surprisingly, the famous architect answered. They hit it off right away, and Wright invited the Christians to his home for a visit. Over the next five years, the Christians met often with Wright and saved every penny they had until they finally had enough for the construction of the 2,200 square foot home. Uh, Wright did everything here. He did the design of the home, he did the interior design as well, and he also did the landscape design. But the most amazing thing of all is that the Christians did what he told them to do, and not all clients did. And so that's what makes this one of the most complete Wright designs. It took the Christians decades to purchase each piece of furniture, china, and decor that Wright planned for the house. A few pieces, such as napkins and a table runner, still remain to be added. All right, we're going to go down the narrow hallway. Okay. Here's the master bathroom. You're welcome to pop in there if you want. Uh, Eels says Wright loved to take ordinary things like lamps and fireplaces and design them in new ways to add a dramatic effect. When we're back here, we talk about the cantilever, and what that means is that the support is in the back instead of the typical post and lintel construction like we're used to, right? Wright loves to use those. He likes the drama. So it looks like that's just floating there, right? He loves to do that. When workers were constructing the fireplace, they went to Wright and told him the design was missing a support. Wright told them it wasn't missing anything and to build it exactly as he had specified. The result was, of course, dramatic. Samara means winged seed after the seeds of evergreens surrounding the home. The motif of the seed's propeller-like motion is seen everywhere in the house. Wright designed from nature, okay? He said nature should be spelled with a capital N, like God is spelled with a capital G, because it's as close as you're gonna get to God in this world. In Samara, the red clay-colored cement floor in the dining room and kitchen is cut into large four-foot square tiles and the grid extends outside onto the wraparound patio. With high windows going all the way to the floor, the indoors and outdoors are visibly connected by the continuous square grid. Preservationists say the home is in good condition for its age, but after 64 years, it needs structural renovations. The $1 million grant will be used to repair decaying parts of the exterior, so visitors for generations to come can see Wright's hidden treasure, Samara. For Indiana News Desk, I'm Perry Metz.